Welcome to the Art of Comics. I'm your host, Andre Salazar, and we're talking about Comic Con. It is 7 o'clock, a little before 7 a.m. I'm heading down to the big San Diego um, Comic Con. Very excited about it. Basically, uh, I'm going to hit it hard. Uh, my dad taught me. <laughs> um, I'm going to Comic Con right now. I have a couple objectives. This is going to be a travel log. This whole episode, it might be a little bit of a large, lengthy episode because I'm going to just like share little bits of the whole the whole week. So um, here's the first bit. We're going to keep on going. I stitch them together, and then hopefully it'll be kind of fun for you guys to see my my adventures. Basically, my goals are simple. One to continue to foster and develop relationships within the comic book industry. That's with uh, creators, writers, artists. That's with editorial teams, publishers, right? And build those relationships for, for new projects, right? Either new books, uh, getting my existing book published, uh, and or um, maybe working in editorial or marketing or some sort of a team like that. So those are high priority goals. Those are kind of like one of the main reasons of going there. And a con is hard to do that because there's so many people. Um, it's hard to kind of have any one-on-one meaningful conversation and really kind of uh, pitch yourself or pitch an idea there. Start. Uh, especially coming in fresh, right? If I came in saying, you know me, I make this, blah, 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 and everyone knows, then that's a different story, of course. I think that's with everything. But my um, notoriety does not precede me, so there you have it. Uh, the second goal is to be inspired and obtain inspiring works of art, okay? In book format, sequential art, or in illustration, things like that. So, sorry my car camera's jumping, it's this road. Um, it's not an earthquake. So it's really about getting things that I'm excited about. You know, um, things that inspire me. Not necessarily the most popular, you know, books or stories or comics, but just stuff that I think, like, I can learn from this, right? That's what it's about. And that's what I'm going to be hopefully doing, sharing with you guys. And the third is to kind of share this, this video with you and uh, let you guys kind of see it. But the main thing is go meet people, go get some stuff that you can like learn from, be inspired by, and uh, share the video. I guess the fourth um, would be to have fun, you know, and I'm hoping to have fun and not kind of concern myself with some of the other uh, kind of day-to-day struggles and thoughts that I may have about uh, my Monday through Friday weekly schedule, but just go have a good time. I'm running solo, little one lone wolf this week, uh, which is fine. And we'll see. Uh, how, let's see how I feel Sunday. I might be like, I miss my family. I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna find out. Anyway, I'm on the road. I'm gonna try to be safe here and not uh, talk to you guys and just uh, focus on the road. And I'll back at you. Well, I'm in San Diego. Uh, specifically, I'm at the. San Diego uh, State University Stadium right there behind me because this is a great spot to park for the trolley. So I'm going to be taking the train into downtown. This is what I do. This is what smart people do who don't want to deal with parking. Uh, it's a little ways away but the parking is free and it's so easy to do. You just take the train. So I'm going to go get my pass and I'll get down into the con area and uh, hit my first stop here on preview day. Here we go, let's do this. Beautiful San Diego. There we are, here's the stadium. Hey everybody, I just donated some blood, so uh, step one of my mission is complete. So that was kind of fun. I'm actually a little more metal than usual. Uh, I don't know why, but yeah, it kind of it kind of drained me a little bit more. I think last year I don't remember feeling that way. but. Uh, so now we've got some time. 
before this is the Grand Hyatt I'm here at the Grand Hyatt that's where the blood uh, blood bank is and that was uh, it's about three blocks away so I've done that and now I'm gonna go uh, do a few more things before the show starts at 6 and then we're gonna hit the floor I, uh, I rode one of these little scooter guys which was actually kind of fun I rode a little bit downtown I wasn't about to record it though because I will break my phone which I'm recording this <laughs> if I were to do that with it roads a little bumpy but it's fun uh, we're here I'm gonna show you a little bit what was going down um, can I do a flippy flip? I can't. Well, I'll just show you guys uh, stuff behind me. We're here at Comic Con. So you know, like 90% or more, not even 90%, like 98% of everything here, if not 100, it's all promotional, right? If it's free, then you're the product. Remember that. If it's free, you are the product they're selling. And so they want you. So this is all promotion for all these TV shows. It's all TV shows and movies nowadays. So that's what's going there. We're here at Con. You know, the trolleys are all dolled up in their little fun little wraps. We've got posters everywhere and all over the buildings. And uh, I'm just gonna walk along here and uh, just let's show you guys Comic-Con. <laughs> Audio Jungle. Okay, we're a full swing. It's only 6 o'clock here at pre, uh, preview night, but it is crazy here. I'm right here in front of DC Comics uh, booth, and I'm uh, hitting it hard. I'm going to go to Artist Alley now and do some things there. It is, uh, you know, it's Comic-Con. It's crazy. It's insane. I love it, though. And um, I got some books. I'll show you all that in the next video. So uh, here it is, Comic-Con. We're doing this. everybody good morning it is uh, Friday morning uh, we're on day two I guess two and a half maybe because of a preview night um, Thursday was good did some panels I did my panel which was a lot of fun I've never been a panelist so that was really neat experience and um, I did a couple other panels kind of um, I got more panels to go check out I'm gonna talk to a few people that I need to chat with today and tomorrow um, I'm kind of done with my shopping so kind of over that I might get a couple gifts if I find something um, con is good con is exhausting 
uh, I got a lot more to go and um, yeah we'll see how it goes so there you go let's keep let's hit Friday day two hey everybody it is hey everybody it's Friday I just spent a half an hour looking at Alex Toth art original art and I feel like <sighs> exhausted and uh, it was so amazing to just look at Alex Toth who's probably my favorite one of my favorite artists and get to see all these originals and they're all very expensive <laughs> but um, it was just amazing that was like totally worth it it filled me creatively so that was fun I'm gonna go into some panels right now it's Friday we're uh, just gonna have to keep hitting the show here we go hey everybody uh, it's Saturday morning Heading the convention, I'm on my skateboard today, so I'm skating over there, and uh, just to kind of change it up a little bit, kind of enjoy the morning. I'm not so worried about getting there at crack of dawn. Basically, um, basically yesterday was good. It's uh, you know one thing I'm I've learned. It's like the floor. The, the convention floor is what I mean, with the exhibit hall where all the uh, sellers are and uh, vendors and stuff. It's really all about consumption. I mean, this is not a big thing, but it's just about buying stuff, you know, buying your books and everything. And really, that's the only thing you could do there. You can, you can sell your stuff if you're an exhibitor, of course. You can meet some people, you know, you get some books signed, but um, it's all about just buying things. and. Mm -hmm. And I guess uh, I don't need to do buy more stuff. Hey, let me explain something. I love comics. I'm a big fan of comic books. Um, I love stories. And so do I want more of that? Sure, I want more stories. I want to, you know, read all these cool stories from people and everything. But at the end of the day, I don't need to spend another $100 on another bunch of books because that's not gonna help me necessarily get to my goal, you know, what I wanna do. What I mean is that all that time buying and reading, even reading all these new stories that I want, I could do that, I could be working on my book, you know what I mean? So it's, that, it's this philosophy of you're either a consumer or a producer, you know, and you can't be both all the time. You just have a limited time is the limited thing. So I think what I'm gonna do is just, uh, I'll go down to the floor to talk to a couple people. I still have like two more people I need to talk to. Um, and just to kind of like touch base. And I hate doing it, but I, I gotta go do that. Other than that, maybe get something for uh, my family. I don't need to buy anything. I'm not gonna buy any more comics. I said that yesterday, I'm not gonna buy any more comics. So I've got, no joke, this is literal. I have three bookshelves and two short boxes full of comics that I have not read, that I need to read. I have books that I bought at Comic-Con last year I have not read. So I don't need to buy more. I just don't, I don't need to, you know? Uh, and so I'm just not gonna do that. Um, and I'm gonna just maybe do some more panels. You know, this is actually kinda hard for me this year to be here all four days. And if it wasn't for Chris Ware doing his signing tomorrow, I would leave. I probably would leave today, midday. But I really want to get Chris Ware's signature, and I really want to get this poster. So I'm staying another day, but I really don't want to necessarily. It's just, uh, as an exhibitor, you, you're going to be here because you want to make all the money and stuff. But as a as a, a, a professional or attendee, for me at this stage, um, I don't really need to be here this long. Um, I just don't, you know, I'm kind of, I'm good. I haven't seen my family in a, in a full week, so. You know, it would be nice to go and hang out with the kids, I guess. Um, I might go to Mexico tonight, actually. That might be kind of fun. We're really close to Tijuana. So I might go over there just to do something a little different. I'm not sure about that, but I'm kind of marinating on that idea. So uh, I'm gonna skate around a little bit this morning, go to the convention, talk to a couple people, do some panels, and uh, let you know how things are going. Walking around here, it's kind of nice. Actually, there's nobody here. Usually, the street, this street will be packed. It is every night, but now uh, it's actually really nice and kind of mellow. It's probably the best time to come here and look at stuff is when everyone's trying to get in the car. It's still like 
an hour and a half before the convention even opens. So it's kind of crazy how packed it is. I'm in Tijuana right now. You might be asking me why I'm in Tijuana on a Saturday when it's Comic Con. Because uh, hay otras cosas que tenemos que hacer aquí. Hey, you can hacerlo. Okay, so I'm in Mexico. I'm in okay, I'm in Mexico. I'm in Tijuana. I spoke Spanish just now because there were some people, uh, some Mexicans walking by, and I wanted to speak Spanish just so that they didn't. Just for safety's sake, maybe. Um, beautiful place. Kind of excited. Uh, different to be in, you know. So I'm here. We're gonna just explore a little bit. Hopefully everything goes fine. I'm not worried too much about it. Here estamos. In Tijuana. A little different than... Uh, San Diego. So I'm, hey everybody, I'm here in Mexico. I'm in Tijuana. I'm getting some, some dinner. Uh, can you even hear me? You might not want to hear me. So I'll do this later. <laughs> I'll do this later when you can hear me. Sunday morning here at Comic-Con. I'm on the last day. Uh, I'm really excited to be here. I'm actually only here for one reason this morning, and that is to meet and have Jimmy Corrigan signed by Chris Ware. So I'm really excited about that. That's really only reason I'm here. I would just go, um, I would just go home. Uh, but I'm here because I really want to get my book signed. And I'm a nerd like that, and I figured, why not? You're not gonna get a chance like that. He's not a guy who uh, does a lot of signings. Um, yesterday was fun. I left a little early, so I showed you those videos about me and Tijuana. Here's the story of what happened. It's actually kind of funny. Um, on the online, you go on the website, it shows what documents you need to go to Mexico. You either need your passport, or you need driver license and a birth certificate. So what I had was an expired passport. I said, well, that's not gonna get me far. So I brought my birth certificate, driver's license, and my expired passport. I brought them all, uh, just in case. And so I get there, and what happens? Well, they detain me. The guy goes, this is all in Spanish. So think of, so everything I'm gonna say is all in Spanish. He says, come with me. We go into a room, a separate room. It's like interrogation room, no joke. I'm in the interrogation room by myself, and I'm thinking, Man, if this isn't gonna work, I'll just go on the train back to the States, not a problem. And like, so what are you here for? And I'm like, I'm here just to get some tacos. It sounds ridiculous. I got my backpack full of Comic-Con stuff. I've got my skateboard, and I'm coming across the border to have some tacos. That's what I say. I'm like, I'm just here, I'm gonna have some tacos. For I'm gonna be here for like an hour, and I'm gonna go. So where are you going? I'm here in Tijuana. They did not believe me. They, he went to go get some other guy. He comes in. 
so what are you doing here? I'm like, hey, this is my documents. If you want, I could just go back to the States. Like, no, you're not going nowhere now. And I'm like, oh, great. And what is this going to happen? I have no cell reception, by the way. Like, your phone doesn't work here. I'm like, oh, great. My phone's not working. And I'm like, what am I going to do? And they're like, you can't, what are you, why, are you, why are you here? I'm like, look, I'm an artist. I'm here for, do you guys know what Comic-Con is? Like, yeah, I go, I'm here for Comic-Con. I'm an artist. And I just wanted to come here to get some tacos. And it just did not make any sense to them. So, so I pull out my comic, I pull out Pariah, Missouri, the book. I go, look, here's my comic book. It says my name, Andres Salazar, on the book. Check it out. So they take the book and they leave. They leave me. Another guy comes in, a third guy comes in. He's like, oh, this is your book? I'm like, yeah, this is my comic book. Uh, you're a comic book artist? I'm like, yeah, I'm the writer. I made this book. He's like, it's pretty good. I like this good stuff. I'm like, thanks. And I go, look, here's my badge. I show them the badge that says Andres Salazar, professional. I go, I'm a professional artist. I come down to get some tacos. They go, okay, here you go. You can go. And I go, no, wait a minute. I don't want to go unless I can get back. I'm worried that I'm not going to be able to, you know, that's like, no, okay. You're an American, they'll let you back in. We just won't let you in. So I'm thinking, are you worried? It's like, it's like make a Mexican, uh, make Mexico great again. You're worried that an illegal, you're, you're working, worried that an American without the proper paperwork is gonna enter your country to, am I gonna take your job? I don't know. It was weird, it was funny though. I was, I, there was a little bit of nervousness, but um, it's pretty fun. So went there, I was only actually there for about an hour because I had all this stuff with me and I looked total like a mark, and so I wanted to make sure that, um, if I would have went without all my gear, I would have stayed longer, but I just didn't know the area well, and I just looked like a mark, so I just stayed for just a little bit. Walked around some of their plaza, you saw the videos, and that was it. Then I came back here to the con, I was back at the con by nine o'clock, played some Werewolf, this really great social game that me and my brother kind of uh, started playing here, and they've been doing it ever since, for the last like seven years. So we did that, played some Werewolf, then went home. And then now I'm here, my last day. I'm only here for like a couple hours. I'm gonna get my book signed by Chris Ware, and then I'm going home. And um, here's the thing. When you're an exhibitor at Comic-Con, for me, it's you live and die over those that money. You live and die of how much you sell each day, and it's either a positive experience or it's negative because you didn't sell much. So that's the way it is at exhibitor. As a professional, if you don't got tons of stuff to do, it, it's a little too much. It, it's not needed. And next year, I don't need to come here for this many days. You know what I mean? It's just, um, just kind of too much. I'm a little bit over it. Um, it is what it is. I love it. It's, it's, it's kind of like one of those things where I love the idea of it, maybe more than the thin itself. Like, I love the preparation to it more than maybe even being here. I don't know. It's weird. I just want to go home and now read the books I bought, right? And do some drawing. So there you go. Here we are, it's the floor, it's opening. People are starting to go crazy, running towards exclusives. Um, that's the way people do. I ain't gonna hate on nobody's game, but it is a little crazy. Uh, it's actually so nice because there's nobody here right now. Um, this is like the best time. <laughs> that's one of the things I love about being an exhibitor is you get in early and you can actually just like enjoy stuff so I do appreciate that hey everybody so the show's over just got in my car about to head back home um, had a wonderful time at San Diego comic-con basically um, it was a great show but uh, just to break it down a little bit I think you really can do this if you're not exhibiting and you're going as a fan or, or a, you know attendee uh, you can do this in one to two days Really, I think that four, four and a half is a little overkill. At least for me, you know, I've done this show, full show, four days, a couple times now, a number of times as a fan, and then a couple times as an exhibitor. So as an exhibitor, you gotta go to the whole thing, you gotta make the money. Live and breathe by that, live and dive. Um, as a fan, if you're a fan of just comics, you can do this in one to two days. You're not into toys, you're not into movies, you're not into TV shows, all that stuff. You can do this just then. Um, if you're a fan of all that stuff, you probably have to go to the, all the days just to see everything. But really, I did the whole floor, all the exhibit, all the buying stuff on Wednesday. Maybe a little bit Thursday, but I was done. And then, you know, some panels here and there, maybe talk to some people, that kind of thing. Was it worth it? 
yes, it's always good just to get that FaceTime and to see what's what's going on. Um, do I need to do it again next year? I mean, I don't know. That's what I got to figure out. Um, I would like to come next year, but maybe one, two days max. I just Unless I bring family or other people who want to experience it. That's fun. Bringing someone new. But running as a lone wolf like I was this year, I didn't have any partner. I was just kind of by myself. It's just kind of hard to do. Uh, so I left early. It's uh, it's noon right now. So I'm leaving early just to get home, just so I can have a couple hours just to kind of chill, relax before the next day of uh, normal normal life comes. And my family will be glad for me to be there. So that'll be nice. Um, Highlights, you know, I got to see Chris Ware. I got a poster. I got my book signed. That was really exciting, just to kind of chat with him for just a just a brief moment, you know. Um, got a couple things that'll be fun. I got this skateboard. I'm actually really excited about. That'll be fun to kind of play with. Uh, Mexico was an experience, so that was kind of fun, just to like have that in my little memory bank. Uh, I would like to do that again, but like not go with all the con convention stuff and just kind of go as a normal person. I think I could have a lot of fun in, in Tijuana. Um, there's some cool like museums. I heard there's a, a luchador wrestling museum there that would be kind of fun to see. Um, I didn't go see the Comic Con Museum, which is in Balboa Park. I heard that's really nice, so that would be something that would be fun. And I'm tempted to go now, but honestly, I'm just I'm over it. I'm kind of tired, so don't need to do that. Um, what other big highlights? Had some good food here and there. Um, you know, it was good. It was a good show. It's um, There's a sadness to it, you know, because it's like it's over. And now it's like, oh, I have to wait another year to be able to go off and do this. But I think I'm good. I just need to hunker down, work on this new book, uh, Shangri-La Estates, and just like bang that out and just uh, and do that. And that's where I need to focus. So that was cool. Anyway, this has been The Art of Comics. Thank you so much for watching this very long video. All these different clips, all this stuff. Hopefully I edit it decently so you can kind of like see the rhythm of everything. And uh, thanks for, for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit the, the bell uh, notification so you can know when the next videos are coming up. We're going to try to do this at least once a week. Most of the time, twice a week, okay? So thanks a lot and um, stay happy.